rise and shine value farm family welcome back to our channel if you're new here please subscribe and also turn your notification bells on and of course to all our returning subscribers you are most welcome thank you so much for coming back thank you so much for appreciating the content on this channel today is a beautiful day we are back at the farm and of course we are here to share with you everything that we are doing at the farm you're part of this family guys we are sharing ideas you share with us we also share with you we of course share everything on this channel we learn from one another so with, this is still value farm we are doing so much the farm is starting that's why we always emphasize like everything for beginners if you're starting a piggery farm if you're starting a mixed farm for beginners so we always want to inspire people out there to start farms because this is what it is you know we have so many opportunities in our countries in this continent but we do not utilize all the opportunities that we have so in case you really have a piece of land you have something that you want to do but you're really wondering what am i going to do you maybe have your qualifications you don't have the jobs to do exactly but there are also other things that you can definitely do around wherever you are you have a piece of land you can definitely have animals in case you have little capital as well you can start with something small as i always tell you guys start small and also think big so in case you have something that you can start with start immediately you don't have to wait guys because of the reliable resources that you have so that you can do something so a mixed farm is some idea any one of you can definitely start today we are going to be sharing the IMO process. I know this is one of the highly requested videos you guys really requested on this channel. And today is the day that you guys are going to really have an idea of how we are preparing our IMO house or the deep litter system that we have in our piggery section because our pigs are really looking amazing they're very very clean most of you really like how they look like we use the imo so the imo is what we really use at the at our piggery house and we are definitely going to share with you guys so that you can also learn the step by step on how we prepare the imo or the deep litter system at our piggery house and i'm super excited of course our manager is on standby so that he can also share with us and also teach us exactly what we do at the farm and what process that we take so that we can definitely build this beautiful amazing deep litter system that you always see from the videos because this is what it is this is the best way that you can keep your pigs healthy very clean and admirable out there so let's go to our manager so that we can see and also teach you how you can do that step by step I am a system. Hi, Mr. Charles. Hi, Madam Tina. How are you doing? Very well, so. How is your day so far? The day is fine. Very fine. Very fine? Very fine. Wow, that is so amazing. By this time, mm -hmm. most of my work is done. It's done. Just only to go and checking. Checking, on monitoring, ABCDR. and seeing what, yep. what is not yet done perfectly. Yes. <laughs> but that is really so nice. So, Mr. Charles, first introduce yourself to the viewers out there who are watching you for the first time. Bonjour, mes amis. Mm -hmm. Comment allez-vous? Tu travailles beaucoup aujourd'hui? Je m'appelle Charles Charrier. Mr. Sempex in bracket. Wow, Mr. Sempex, you're most welcome to this episode. We really appreciate it. By the way, you have French followers there. Oh, who really love that. And the fact that you speak French as well. <laughs> That's How do you even learn French? Mr. Oh, Charles? in senior a long story, a long story yeah. by the okay. way. Okay. Ah, no, I will tell you later. <laughs> okay. okay, that is right. <laughs> yeah. I really appreciate that you read your, your linguistic. You mm. know English, you know French. I know you have... Italian. Okay, uh, okay. Mm -hmm. We shall get to that maybe in a different video. Mm. So today, we are. this is a highly requested video, Charles. And I know you know it because I've been really... You know, on your case, Mr. Charles, but which 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 pen are we going to do that? I am all step by step because yep. this is a highly requested video. Most of you have really wanted us to do the step by step I am all or deep litter system. I know yep. those are different things, but of course they work hand in hand. Yep. Yes, but we are definitely today going to share with them how we are doing it on our pigger, our new piggery structure so that they can learn from it. I know you've already hinted on, on how to do it, but today we are going to demonstrate as well. Yes. So what do you have to say about the deep litter system? Okay, the deep litter system mm -hmm. is really uh, a bracket system. Okay. Why a bracket system? There are a number of ways how one can do it. Okay. 
but whichever way you decide to do or to use, mm. be careful and understand it properly. Okay. Uh, the actual one mm. should go deep when you are making this natural bed for our pigs, mm. should be at least uh, three feet deep okay. or four feet deep. Mm. And that one can also take you to about half a year, half a year. without changing uh, your uh, uh, wood, wood shavings. Yeah. Okay. However, two hours here, which we're going to explain to them, yes. can take you a year without, without changing, changing as long as they use the methods i'm going to tell them tell them yeah thank you if so they much. don't use them then i'm not to blame They're going to fail. Oh. so what are the requirements that someone really needs first before we, before we come to yes, this one yes when you dig a deep uh, uh, a, a deep bed for the pigs which is three feet down yes. you have a number of things to use yes. first of all you need wood shavings you no 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 not wood. shavings okay. a wood just wood logs logs, logs. yeah okay. mm. all paws okay. then we need uh charcoal dust yes. if you your country uh, allows you to cut trees and burn charcoal, burn charcoal if you don't have that that's another case altogether mm. you need lime mm. this which they use building houses yes. you need that lime mm -hmm. not lime which we give to animals and birds yes. but lime uh, for the, for, the const for construction, construction. Yeah. yeah uh you need uh wood shavings yes then you need uh, maybe some branchy branch branches okay. yeah if you, the you fresh branches uh, from the trees yeah if you can get them okay. they're, they're also good they're also good you need uh ready soil oh uh, this is uh, from, from until ant yes okay. you, you need also that one okay. you need cow dung so mr charles uh, yep. you're talking about that but we're not using any is that a different kind of uh, that's what i litter? yeah that's what i say that that one by the way that's that the, the, that's that's the one mm. we started with that is what we started with in the other, uh -huh. other and it's the structure. one which everybody knows by the way True, yeah, true, that one true. which goes so deep. So deep. But it be, it depends where you are making it so deep. Yeah. Like here, you see how this building is. Yes. And how heavy it is yes. up there. Yeah. So once you are to go, go three further. feet deep or four feet deep, mm. my dear, and within two years this building would be sinking with the clocks and water view. Mm. So for us here, we are using uh just only one feet by the way yes As one feet see. deep mm -hmm. yeah one feet deep mm -hmm. and we have casted it with cement cement now what are we trying to avoid here you know there is what we call earthworms and we want also our pigs to be clean mm -hmm. and for sure we have to use imo sure. now when you make here one feet deep mm -hmm. and you cast this cement here mm -hmm. first of all we have avoided our pigs to touch any soil, soil. at all sure. to get these earthworms whatever that is gone yes. and now when we pour now i think we better get get one sack, one sack. sack there is there anything we first pour down no nothing, nothing. Okay. So now so we can, yeah, this is the sawdust. Mm. So we can just start pouring it here, like eh, this. Okay. Spreading it. Yeah, spreading it evenly up to this level. Up we have, level. yeah, we have to cover our one feet deep. Mm. Yes. So, so we can just pour. You pour, yeah, just. Yes. And even what this other that? side. Yes. What tools do we need to do this? Uh, we need a leg, we need a spade. Okay. Yep. We Most of those a leg and the spade. You get a shower. And, and then. Sarah. Yeah, Sarah, right? Mm. So, maybe Richard do it later. Demonstrate. Mm -hmm. So now you I can. Sp yeah, exactly. And pour, pour, pour also. Pour. What about this side? Is we, it a bit yeah, no, no, ah. it's okay. Mm. Mm. Wow. 
So we just make it even as a sera. Help me, you know, my arm is not a good. So we do it like that. And even start bringing also this. So now we are making our natural deep bed for our pigs. Okay. Yes. And by the way, this is just one pen that we are demonstrating. It's not all of this. So, Mr. Charles, I yes, wanted to ask you. Yep. Do you what about the IMO liquid? When do you spray? Don't you first well, spray it down? No, no, the down doesn't. Nothing. Yeah, we are gonna now first, demonstrate it. First, spread the wood shaving. Yep. Also, dust first. Yes. Level it. Yep. Then we go to the next step. For sure. Okay. <laughs> and now you see here, we, after some time, we, we're gonna put more because we have not put in our and pigs, yeah. we're gonna make the level up to up this. To yes, this so we, here we need something like a, uh, three more, more sacks. sacks of uh, wood shavings, okay. and then so we, that it can level up to yeah, the top, yeah, up to yes, yes. Okay. so that even when we are entering our pigs. They, they 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 are moving on the same, on the same level. level yeah okay that is really so now after this what our people should know we use this prayer and now this prayer okay for us here just to demonstrate mm. we have only put two liters of water okay. but they have to know that 15 mils of this imo okay. uh dilutes is diluted by one liter of, of water. water. So now, since we have got two liters of water here, we're gonna put there 30 mils of IMO. I am yeah. Okay. So, so this is water already there? Yeah, there is water already there. Now, there is what we use. Maybe the you American. can, yeah, let me. So, so th this is now uh, 20. 20. So we're oh. going to put in the middle. No. Because we need 30. Oh, 30. Yeah, so you have yeah, uh -huh, 30 is there. So you, you're gonna pour there up to 30. 30. Yeah. And when you are holding it, yeah. oh, sorry. When you are it should be you should make sure that it is flat enough. Okay. Because when you do it like this, you <laughs> may <laughs> yeah. and you should face these uh, markings towards you okay. in order to know exactly okay. what you are putting okay. in. Yeah. So you can pour there up to 30. 30. Yeah. So 30 mils, mixes just two mils of water. So it, it depends to how much water you, you're gonna use and the area. Oh, sorry. This is 30. Ah, 30, okay. Yes. Now after that, now you can just pour oh, that IMO yeah. there. Do I leave it inside? Yeah, you can leave it there. So after that, mm -hmm. you need at least to shake, to it, shake it a little so bit. that it, it mixes very well, well. very well. So. Mm. No, wait, wait. Uh -huh. Hey. Yeah. <laughs> Guys, the work is real. Uh -huh. Good. Yes. So first, it, palm, and then, so you you gonna spray all around evenly, evenly. Uh, evenly. This is really interesting, guys. This is what you requested for. So we are really definitely making sure that we showcase and also show you guys the whole process. Do you have to start from one side or just no. randomly? As long as all the area is it's covered. Uh, yes. Okay. You can start you from have, anywhere. Does it get so wet? It needs to be wet. No it has problem. To be so yeah. Wet. Mm, no. Doesn't be. 
matter. Ah, finished uh -huh. spray. Yeah, mm, yes. So uh, after, yeah. <laughs> no, no, it is gone. It, <laughs> it, it, it gonna. Thank you. So after here. Mm. You can leave it for at least, if you have time, mm. even if a week, you yes. can leave it there. If not, even right now, mm. you can bring you in can your... Bring in your pigs. Yeah. Now, mm. viewers should note this. Mm. Pig, uh, piglets or pigs gonna start urinating here. Urinating here. But urinating here is not a problem mm. because the urine is going, because one may say, ah, won't it smell? Have you had any, sm yeah. any smell that? No. That so the urine is going to be yes. soaked into mm -hmm. this uh, wood shavings and this, this sawdust. Then after that, my brothers here, what they do? Where is the spade? The spade? Hey, who took it? So in the morning mm. and in the afternoon, okay. they come in. For, okay, in the morning they come in with their leg. And then you know pigs are so clean They're that they clever. because now when you put it that your pig here mm. may decide to put the waste the here waste just here. Sure. Then you just can't pick those the waste. because of the way we mix our uh, our our feeds. Eh? The waste come out when all the ingredients are being right. converted into the body. Mm. So you just get only that waste. Eh? True, true. Yeah, and so they just yes, remove it, remove, remove it, because we need it to our gardens, and then we take it. Wow. Then after two days, three days, we can again spray. spray. That's why you don't so smell how many times do you spray the IMO? We can spray twice a week. Twice a week. Just twice a week. So yeah. you just keep every morning. Yeah, yeah, the, yeah. The, the, yes. The waste yeah, exactly. And take to the yeah. garden. When this sawdust uh, is a bit uh, down, Please get more sacks and then you keep on covering. Wow. I mean, putting on, putting yes, on, adding, adding, adding on. Adding. Yeah. Okay. And then, yeah. That is so That's interesting. The... As simple as that, mm. guys. Yes. So then other people have been asking me, like most of them do not have the IMO liquid in their countries. Yeah. I remember you telling me one of the um, of the procedures of making your own IMO in your farm. Yep. There's a farmer that was really interested because you said you get fruits. Yep. You boil them. Yep. You ferment for yeah. a thing. You, you, you even can explain to them a little bit so uh, that they can also understand in regards to IMO yep. because most people really don't have it and they want to make it in their farms. But I think they have maize. I mean maize. Yes. Do they have maize? Yeah, they yes. have. So yes, what they can do, get a container, mm -hmm. get oranges, yes. get pineapple, get mangoes. Yes cut them into pieces, pieces, put them in that uh, in that uh, so con container, container, whichever, oh. or either drum or whatever, mm -hmm. put in water. Mm -hmm. Even if you have got a, a, a container of 200 uh, liters, yes. you cut as many fruits, fruits as, as, you as you can, mm -hmm. then put them there. Mm -hmm. After that, for example, in 200 mils, in a drum of 200 mils, mm -hmm. you can put there about to four kilograms of sugar. Mm -hmm. Then get what we call maize bran, okay. good maize bran. Right. Pour it on top. On top of it. Then get get me that sack there. Uh, sack. There is a sack there. That one. You just do just a day. So you can use something like mm. this okay. or a mosquito net. Okay. Why to do so? We need air to enter, to enter but we don't mm. want uh, fries to, to enter. enter. You know, once well, they well, enter, you know what they do? Mm -hmm. They will lay their eggs and you will be harvesting maggots. Oh. <laughs> and, mm -hmm. and it's not, and it's exactly. not <laughs> the purpose. Not, yeah. purpose so so you cover your drum properly. Mm -hmm. But if you have got a mosquito net, it's so much, so much yeah better. so that it can breathe. breathe keep it there for two weeks okay after two weeks try to get a funnel or a strainer okay. and then try to it's remove a hard to save uh, yeah to save yes. mm -hmm. get that uh, concentrated concentrated the uh, liquid mm -hmm. put it in a very good container so in your jerkins mm -hmm. and then you will just be 
using, using that, the, one. The, that one. Another person was asking me that do you have to boil the fruits as first? No, you don't need no, no need no, to boil no, the no, fruits. No, 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 no. You just leave them to yeah, ferment yes. for only two weeks. Yeah, yeah. Then you remove the liquid to yeah. spray around. Exactly. Do not worry about like the flies. The flies is because this I am oil sweet. That yeah. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Yes. And it smells like uh, a beer. Yes. Yeah. Because it smells like as you know this local beer sorghum, which is made out of sorghum. Mm. That's how it smells. Yeah. Mm. Because there is uh, that also that liquid of sorghum. By the way, even when you have sorghum, mm. you can also crush it and use it also oh. to that I am. Yeah. So, so, yes. Uh -huh. you, it, no, you use. You can use what? what? Yes, both. That and so then you go. You get a wonderful IMO. Wow. Why should you go to shops and also, and buy also all that money? That is an alternative, guys. Mm. I think you guys have really learned something from this video because this is this was highly requested, yeah. and I hope this is also going to help. In case you want a no smell piggery house, this is going to definitely help you. Yeah. The flies you're seeing here will disappear with within a few minutes yeah. because you've seen it from our temporary structure. Like there's no smell, no odor at all. Our pigs are very clean. The pigs are looking amazing. I was even asking Mr. Charles the other day, like, oh, our pigs look really very clean, cleaner than before. Mm -hmm. Because of course we had just put them in a new structure and the wood shavings I think were clean were yeah. newer. Yes. So they've been, you know, rubbing themselves against it. That's why that's why they really get very, very clean. And when you come to this building, guys, let me tell you something. This building has no order at all. In case someone came to visit here, they will never notice that this building even has pigs in them. Or even there are pigs around this farm because you can never hear any smell of pigs. So if you're out there and you're really struggling and you're, you know people are running away from you, people are running away from you <laughs> far because you know someone comes and holds their nose because they can't stand the order, this is the best way you can definitely start something like this. Use the, the IMO system that is going to definitely change. It's a life-changing experience, guys, for all the pig farmers out there. So, Mr. Charles, yep. what advice would you tell, would you give to a farmer out there who is going to, who is willing, or who is starting off something like this? What advice would you give them? Yeah, first of all, before uh, starting anything, mm. when you are gonna become a mixed farmer, mm. that means cultivating and keeping mm. animals and birds. If you are bad hearted, please don't do that job. Mm. Because these animals are also animals, they are irrational animals, yeah. but we need, which need care. care. Don't shout at it, True. don't beat True. it, don't True. kick it. Yeah. For me, when I find anybody shouting Kicking, at it, slapping, it, yeah. uh, if I've got, uh, you gave me the authority yes. to hire and to fire. Yeah. You you gonna fight, but I've never done it <laughs> because you know my people are so them. good. Yeah. Don't shout at it. Don't frighten it. No, please. True. And uh, be lovely to them. Exactly. Sing at them. Mm -hmm. Sing at them. Wow. Wave at them. Exactly. And you will see those animals. Happy. Yeah. Yeah. You know when I go down there to our the other paddock. When I move, whenever they see me, even these geese, they start making noise. They start following me. Following they you. know I'm their master. Their master. They yeah. are, you're always there with them. Yes. So, should, they're really passionate as well. Yes. Wow. So with this IMO people who have been viewing, uh -huh. I tell you, this will do you better. Mm -hmm. And once, you know, these pigs are good at digging. Mm -hmm. Once they try to dig, they will never get to, get soil, to soil to get to, yeah to get uh, the these dust. earthworms and whatever and become dirty and and even the building inside the mm. penny will be dirty yeah. uh, so and this is our trough for for the for, the, for the feeds and the other one the we're gonna we're gonna water. fix the 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 nipples. the nipples and then that's the drinking place and the water which flow 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 flows down or splashes around goes up to down there to the trench and it goes through the pipe to the soccer pit. The soccer yeah. pit. So this is really a recommendable building. Building and also so, system someone can really yeah. use in a farm. Then another thing I think we missed out, like for the IMO, this is one advice for farmers out there. Yeah. In case you have maybe pigs that are sick and you're using this kind of system, yeah. remove immediately. If you notice anything yeah. or yeah. coughing or whatever, any disease, yep. any signs and symptoms of a disease, I mean a disease in your pigs, yep. 
remove the whole thing immediately and, and isolate mm. and disinfect the yeah. whole building yeah. that's what you need to do because you know you're losing out M mistakes most farmers do they really try to monitor and say mm. oh let me just monitor and leave it I there know, no, that no, is no, going no. to spread to other animals yeah. so the best way for you to do is to remove it immediately isolate your pig put it somewhere else that will not also affect other pigs this system is really good but it can be also dangerous as long as you don't take care of it and uh, to add on that yes. Farmers should know there is only one dangerous disease to our pigs, yes. and that is African swine fever. African swine fever does not pass through air. Mm -mm. African swine fever is Strong a virus. Mm. We can get it through our clothes, mm -hmm. our shoes or boots or whatever you are wearing so disinfecting is more 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 important, important like important. here in the near future even visitors will be putting on overcoats yeah. in order to cover the disease they have come with sure. that swine fever yes. and for us here we're gonna put nets yeah, in all those that. windows to in order birds. to avoid birds yeah, once birds come in and test on the feeds they transfer, so yes, yeah. rats, cats, they are the best uh, transporter, transporter of for... African swine fever. That is so, true. so I just wish our fellow farmers. Yes. And by the way, mm. guys, this building is under construction, as yep. you can see. These are just pens that are really going on. And of course, construction is going on. That's why you see that we have not yet put the nets, as Mr. Charles has said. But this is a process of yep. which you, you're definitely going to see the whole progress. That's why we are trying to give you step by step. Our pigs are already furrowed. That's why we are preparing all these rooms for them to come in. Because the rooms that we had at the temporary structure were fewer. But it's good enough. We are trying to make sure that everything is really good and perfect for them here. Even you can tell them something about those transparent, the transparent sheets. sheets. Of yeah. course, bring in enough light because in and your sunshine. And sunshine. But we shall discuss that in a different video when we are okay. showing them how the structure is. is. And when we are introducing our, our structure to them for people who want to, to know and mm. also consider maybe such a concrete building for their yep. piggery. We shall yep. definitely bring that, I think, in the next episode that we shall be bringing. But Mr. Charles, yep. thank you so much. The You're pigs welcome. look amazing. Thank the, Their beds, you know, this little <laughs> deep litter system here looks amazing. Yep. You take care of them very well. Yep. And the boys that you've really trained to take care of the pigs as well are really amazing because they don't scream at these pigs. Yep. They don't like the care they go there. They're like you exactly. Yep. You're an example to them. Yeah, they know they know what I want. What you want, mm. which is really a good thing. Which other farmers out there, my fellow farmers, learn something from what we are doing here, what Mr. Charles is teaching you, so that you can definitely prosper and also become a better farmer. But we love you guys so much. We appreciate your love and support. Please like the video. Mr. Charles, tell no. them to subscribe to the channel. Please try to subscribe to, to Value, Value Farm. Farm channel. Yes. You're going to learn a lot mm -hmm. and just put in your comments, yes. questions, advices, sure. and whatever. We shall learn from them. Exactly. Because you have to learn from us and we have to run from, from you. you because we are all a farmers family. yeah farmers. we are family <laughs> yeah, so and yes. what you know why i like farming mm -hmm. whatever we have mm -hmm. in this world is farming uh, yeah. because even where they made this shirt from cotton yeah, whatever cotton, farm. fish farm water farm pig farm beef farm mm -hmm. so my dear coffee farm um, tea leaves farm <laughs> oh, oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> so guys, we really appreciate you guys. And by the way, now for the piglets, I know people want our piglets as well. Yep. In case you're very interested in buying or purchasing a piglet from here, you can definitely start booking right away because they're limited. There are few of them. And we want to share our breeds with you guys. We have amazing breeds here from the Landress, Large White, Cambra, and Hampshire. So in case you're interested in such pigs, you can definitely contact me on the WhatsApp number that you can see on the description down below. Then we can do arrangement and I will also share with you the prices so that we can be able to give and also share with all our fellow farmers out there who are interested in breeding better breeds for their who in case you want to improve your breeds we can definitely also help you as well but we really appreciate you guys please like the video subscribe if you haven't already sure. tell a friend to tell a friend and do not be selfish guys tell your friends tell mm. your family and friends so that they can also learn from whatever we are learning from here till next time bye bye, bye. bye.